I now declare the 71st Wexford Festival Opera open. Enjoy it all! wish for Mary is that an interior designer is going to come in and say, listen, I have got a big Take commission. Yeah, I've got, big, got a big commission for a hotel, you know. Oh, no, it's definitely, you can see... I could. The, like, it's pleasant and it, it, and it can also blend in with the interior. Join me as we explore the opening of Wexford's uh, Opera Festival. It's the 71st year that it's being held and it's an international event. So you people uh, coming from all over the world come to Wexford and there's a real good buzz in the town and in recent years there's been added attractions we have the fringe festival and then we have the spiegel tent the spiegel tent is an old type of uh, tent from scandinavia and it's just spectacular inside and we have live events going out throughout the whole uh, two weeks period uh, followed up with the, in the, the opera festival so it's not just the opera people that come down here it's everyone from all over the world and all over the country come to enjoy the beauty of Wexford. So we're going to walk around now. There is a good buzz. You'll see the people walking around, um, having a good time. The kids are out. The uh, fireworks usually brings at least 10,000 people onto the quay. Um, there's an opening ceremony from the mayor of Wexford. And then we'll see the, the, the normal things that go around in Wexford town. We're gonna walk and see the exhibits. There's a lot of art exhibits. Um, some shops put some decorations into their front um, windows. Um, and it's just all in all a really good buzz. So stay with me and we'll walk around and uh, see what happens when Wexford opens up and has the Opera Fest. For those of you wondering what jersey I'm wearing, it's the Montreal Canadiens. So I'm originally from Montreal. Um, I love the uh, ice hockey. I love Montreal Canadiens, the Habs. Uh, they had a terrible year last year. They finished dead last in the league, but they got the first rep round pick overall. Your ice of Koski, uh, Slovakian league, and they have Cole Caulfield that's on fire, Nick Suzuki, new captain. So they're doing really, really well. And I think they're, plus they have a dynamic Hall of Fame player who is a coach with no previous NHL experience, but He's uh, able to communicate with the lads, so he's really doing well. They're, they're firing on all cylinders, and I think there's a bright future for them. So, fingers crossed. So that's why I'm wearing this jersey, just support from the, the local team. And it stands out in the crowd, so when I'm walking around, you know, people will notice me. So that's why I'm wearing this jersey. Another thing you see is a lot of the stores would decorate the front of their shops. So. Here's one example. It's all with the opera themes. And then they have competitions and see who has the best design. So you see there's sheet music. And that. And this one has Houdini, the magic show. Here's a little Halloween decoration, not really opera festival, the sweet shop. It's a really cool sweet shop that has a whole bunch of new old sweets. Now I'm going to uh, pop in while I'm waiting for the fireworks and the crowd to get gathered together. I'm going to pop into my friend Wally in the Red Books. Uh, on the Wexford Town Walk, I popped in and did an interview with him. So, just go in there. So this was created by the, the girls from the Prez, which is a secondary school here, second level. I'll walk quickly through there for those of you that might have missed my uh, Wexford one. I'll put the link below at the end. You can watch it. Uh, but I'll just quickly walk through the books and show you the maze of books that there are in this uh, 
Labyrinth of Red Books in Wexford Town. So you, you see nothing but books, books, and more books. You can see they go from the floor to the rafters all the way around here. In the back. And you have books and books as far as the eye can see. Someone drew a little, painted a little painting of the bookstore, what it looks like up from the outside. Artist's impression, of course. And then here, even more books. You can smell the books in the place. It's very musty a bit, but uh, like a lot of old books, new books. If you ever want to come looking for that book that you can't seem to get, here's the place where you could find it. Like the amount. I'm trying not to knock everything over because it is a tight fit. And then there's a little cubby here that goes to the other side. So here's some uh, DVDs and CDs. And here's some more. Like everywhere you see. And the prices here are very, very reasonable. And then you got more books all around. It's very neat. There's a few little trinkets and that and oddities that they sell and offer. And then there's some more. And then here's some more books. These are more contemporary, the new books that are published, Wexford ones. And then you have all this. And then here's some more books over here. Much more new books. And these are some older books. And then we're back to the beginning. And there's Emily, she's trying to save the world. And there's her man, Wally, again. And his mom. So, if you're in Wexford, make sure you stop by. And like I said, I'll put the link below on in the interview we had. So if you want to see that, just go to your Just to give you an idea what the uh, town starts like. You see it's really getting busier. And as it gets darker, it'll be more. It's 6 o'clock now. The opening ceremony is at 7.15. And then the fireworks are after that, so you're welcome to 7.30 and it should be done by before 8 o'clock, but it's very busy for this time of the night. The weights look good on the main street going down. You see the cars are trying to get out of here because once 6.30 comes around, you won't be able to move with a car till maybe 9.30, so it's chocker block. But it's, they look nice with the lights and that, so imagine if it's darker, it really pops out at you. So. Anyways, we're making my way down here. I'm going to stop off and get a drink for a bit. Still have a half hour or so before I have to get down to the key. So, stay tuned. Okay, so it's a little bit after half six now. And you can see the rain has started a bit. Everything's wet, but it's not bad. It's not raining down now. You see the lights and the reflection in the back of the, the buildings and that. It's nice looking. Nice ambiance for the, uh, the event. So now we're going to make our way towards Emily. And then we'll head down towards the quay. And we'll get ready to see the opening ceremony for the Wexford Opera Festival. Okay, so this is Expert, the Wexford Key. You can see everyone around. <laughs> Southeast Radio and then the main stage where we're going to open up the ceremonies and then the firecracker uh, the fireworks will be coming over from there up in the sky. So there's the uh, muscle boats on the uh, water there and then to the left we have the Ferris wheels 
and rides and that for the kids. So it's like a big festive event when they the opening of the opera festival, so we'll take a walk, walk around and see what they have to offer. Let's see what it looks like. <coughs> Maple Crunch Latte's. There's a big queue for that. And there's some apartments overlooking the key. There's are nice apartments right over the key. They get the best view. So here's like the pantry for some chocolates and coffees. So it's very busy. You can see it's starting to get really busy around here. Here's some little games for kids. And then the Ferris wheel there. Hey, Dylan. There's a lot of people around. Maybe Emily wants to go on the ladybugs. There's some, some uh, ice creams. And then kids are on the Filter World. It's a really nice old tent that they set up. And it comes from Scandinavia somewhere, and you can see around the back. Maybe we'll take a look, see if we can go see it. Like you see, a lot more people showing up here. It's just getting busier and busier. So as it approaches uh, 7:15, the key will be packed. Yeah. So here's so the portaloos here. You have. On the left, and and then you have the uh, the old Spiegel tent in the background there. So they are all there. It's really nice inside. And there's the Wexford Bridge and the fireworks. The, set off somewhere on the other side I'd say. So here's the old Spiegel tent. And inside there's little booths around and then a nice big stage and then uh, a couple of bars. Uh, it's really, it's really, really good entertainment for the local people. It has started about, I'd say about eight, nine years now. Oh, maybe we can get a quick look inside there. See if you can see inside what it looks like inside. There's the stage and then the booths that go around. As you can see, we're heading back towards the start of the opening ceremonies. On the left, you see the muscle boats 
And on the right, you see the back part of the uh, rides and that, and then you see people gathering around in anticipation for the opening night. It's been two years since we've had the fireworks because of the COVID, so we're expecting a good crowd, upwards around 10,000 people. So stay with me and see how the uh, night goes ahead. start to fill up uh, by the time it comes closer to 7 15 7 30 the key will be black with people like you know you can't even put your hand in between it okay, we'll see. hey Chloe Hello. how's it going on the vlog. you're on the vlog how's it Say going hi. Hello. <laughs> very shy I thought you were the big actress there no. No, it's only mommy. Mommy's the big actress, eh? Yeah. You ready for the fireworks? Yeah. Make your mommy buy you lots of sweets and make her go on all the rides. No, because they don't take cars. Lots of rides. Say not. <laughs> girls good evening hello we're back after three years for the 71st Wexford Festival Opera which starts tonight as you know so are you ready to rock and roll okay a big Kate meal of Falch and a welcome for the 71st Festival Opera so without further ado will you Please welcome our first guest of honour on the podium tonight, the chairperson of Wexford Festival Opera, accompanied by her husband, Han Voss. Would you please welcome Dr. Mary Kelly. Thank you, I will. Please, um, will I have to stand up? Okay. Okay, thank you. Welcome, everybody. Uh, to the traditional fireworks display for the opening of the 71st Wexford Festival Opera. I'm Mary Kelly and I'm the chairwoman of the festival. Uh, and I'm very, very happy this evening to welcome Her Worship, the Mayor of Wexford, Maura Bell, as our very special guest of honour. And Maura, Maura will be opening the festival for us in a few moments. I just can't tell you how thrilled we are in Wexford Festival Opera to be back with a full opera festival this year. After two very difficult years of COVID, it is just so good to welcome all of you back here to the quay for the fireworks and to be able to put on a full festival with four full operas, short works, pop-up events, something for everybody, lunchtime concerts, everything that goes with the Wexford Opera Festival. Uh, this year, we're also very happy to be welcoming back the Antiques Fair to the Talbot Hotel. Wexford is a very proud town and it has a good reason, very good reason to be proud of its opera festival which is renowned the whole world over. It attracts artists and patrons from all around the world. But really tonight I want to thank the people of Wexford particularly for their huge support for the festival and for the big welcome we always get and our patrons get uh, when they come to, to town. We simply could not put on the festival without you. Most of you have grown up with this festival and many of you have great memories of past festivals. Some of you will even have been involved in some of the operas as children, as artists, maybe technical staff or otherwise, and we're really happy this year, as Morris has said, that a new generation of school children will be involved in the production of Cinderella. Perhaps some of them will be inspired, as Colm Tobin was inspired some years ago, 
to continue a love for opera and theatre, and even perhaps to write an opera themselves. Who knows what will come from this? So I'll just leave you by saying thank you, Wexford, for everything you do for us and the festival. Thank you, Dr. Mary Kelly. And now, ladies and gentlemen, to open the 71st Wexford Festival Opera. She's one of our own. She managed the Heritage Park out there for you for 20 years. And now she's here to open the festival. Please welcome our mayor, Councillor Maura Bell. Thanks, Morris. Hello, Wexford. I am absolutely, it's fantastic to see you all here this evening. So many smiling faces, young and old, after the last few years we've all had. The opening of the Wexford Festival Opera and the fireworks have been synonymous with Wexford for the last 71 years and have always been a date in everyone's calendar to look forward to. I remember myself coming down to the quay as a small child, holding on to my mammy's hand and being transformed to another world when the fireworks went off. Wexford Festival Opera was founded by the late, great Dr. Tom Walsh and a group of like-minded people. And it has not only just survived 71 years, it has absolutely flourished and it is now a major date on the international opera calendar. The economic benefit to our small town and county is enormous as is the cultural and heritage awareness. In recent years, we've added the fabulous additions of the Spiegel Tent and other associated events, Wexford Light Opera, Oyster Lane, all the exhibitions, the Antique Fair, and many more. So there's really something for everybody during this festival time. The festival window competition has revived and this year's theme was magic and music. So I hope you will all traverse along the town and the quay to admire all those shops and other premises who have participated in the competition. And well done to all of them for getting involved. On behalf of the Wexford Borough District, my district manager, Angela Laffin, I would like to thank the Wexford Festival Opera for asking me to launch the 71st Opera Festival. A local girl from John's Road. It's a very, very proud moment for me, my family, and everyone who supported me on this journey. I have to say it, and I, at every opportunity I get, I say it. I'm only the fourth woman in over 700 years to be a mayor of Wexford. So, on that note, we need more women in politics. So I'll be talking to all of later. I'd also like to thank Wexford County Council. I'd like to thank the volunteers, the staff, the performers and all the crew who have made the Wexford Festival Opera what it is today. This is my festival. This is your festival. This is everybody's festival. Without you, without you participating in everything that's going on around the town for the duration of our festival. The people that come to go to the opera, to go to the exhibitions and visit everything else and meet all of you along the street and have a chat. And you know what everybody says? 
is the warm welcome that they get from the townies in Wexford. So I salute each and every one of you. I now declare the 71st Wexford Festival Opera open. Enjoy it all!
The best one we've seen in about three years at least, if not more. And the man... So you can see there's a big crowd here tonight. Tomorrow I'm going to be uh, showing you parts of the town that's, uh, that's um, all the exhibits in the town, the antique fair and that. So I'll be stopping now. Here's a nice display from Bernardo's. And that's the display from the Oxfam uh, charity shop. Here's the next one. It's from Charles Pierce Menswear. They did half the site, really. It'll get a pass in my books. And Fitzgerald's didn't do much. street style okay so we're gonna go upstairs we just got into the Talbot Hotel and we're gonna go upstairs to see some of the exhibits they have Well, I'm walking around looking at these. There's other people in the room and the artist is preparing stuff. I have to say that the pictures were really lovely. Um, the Talbot this year is, it's changed from the last three years. It used to be every single um, room on that first floor was filled with different exhibitors. Um, we only seen this one. There was another lady that was still setting up. And then we had the one on the main floor. So there's only the three that I've seen. Now, I, there are probably going to be more coming on in the Opera Festival, but it's changed since the, um, the pandemic has hit. Thank you. Thanks very much. Thank you. Well, to be honest, that was very quiet. The second floor usually is packed with all the rooms had visits. This one, there was only one ready, and the other one was just getting set up. So we'll just see if there's anything around. This is... Nothing up here. Here we go. Oh, these are nice. Jacinta Crowley Wong. You know Andgrove down in that? Uh, yeah. yeah, that had fantastic work done yeah. too. Yeah. But the house needs, uh, the house is pretty sure still. Yeah. You never kind of went into the house,
Well, there was the uh, proper exhibit, I'd say. <clears throat> okay, here's one here. It's on Main Street. Um, team French artist, ceramic, Patricia Kielty and Mary Maloney. Ooh, let's see if they let us in. Hello. Hello. Do you mind if I vlog? Take a video, just showing oh, up. Absolutely. Showing up the the uh, Wexford Opera Festival yeah. and all the stuff it brings. Ah, thank you. Oh, that's what it is. I thought it was sequined, but you got all no, your badges on. No, I got all little badges on yeah. it from different cool. places I've been to. Yeah, you're cool. Have you got a Wexford one yet? I have. I should have. Are you? Uh, no, I don't think no, I have a Wexford one. No, you haven't. No. I have to get that. Ooh, you have to get that. I like the Irish one, though. <laughs> yeah, you do have the Irish one. <laughs> Yeah, so um, do you want to give you the yeah, sure. chat? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Uh, so three artists. Yeah, I saw that on the sign outside. Yeah, uh, yeah. so um, this is Mary's work. Okay. It's uh, alcohol ink and a hand-cut paper collage. Okay. So original pieces, because yep. they're done and it's very yep. hard to control. And then she picks a section and she gets it exploded up. And bigger. Yeah. yeah, Yeah. so it makes the impact. Okay. And then that's her hand-cut paper collage work. Okay. Lovely colours. Yeah. Beautiful colour sets. Great for interiors. Yeah. Yeah. Local artist Jean French. Okay. She will paint a variety of subjects. Okay. Uh, for a variety of markets. I think I've seen the, the cow one before. Yeah. And I love these two. I think they're those abstracts are lovely. The Heineken and yeah, the Batcher's beans. The colours colour yeah. are lovely. The colours are lovely. This is my work. I'm an ex-fashion person. That's probably oh, well, why I mentioned that. That's... <laughs> that's <laughs> You can see that. Yeah, so I, I was head of fashion in Limerick and then I had an accident and couldn't do it. Okay. So I stuck to my fashion illustration. Very good. So uh, there is all sorts of media. And um, then I discovered digital painting in okay. um, lockdown. Okay. So Procreate, have you ever heard? No. Yeah, digital. That's all done on my iPad. Okay, yeah. I. My friend, uh, he's a tattooist, Mark Kahn. Yeah, yeah. He does yeah. stuff, drawings it's, it's, and that on. It's amazing. Yeah. It's amazing. I mean, look at the effects you yeah. can get. Oh, no, he is. Oh, I'm, yeah. I'm totally hooked. Totally yeah. hooked. The window cleaners were in yesterday. So one of them is a little Italian Portuguese guy. Yep. And he loves the donkey. And I said, what would you name him? Ambrosio. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, original work, digital work. Oh, wow. Fashion illustration. And they're not overly expensive either. They're not huge. Because I was in the Talbot one and it seemed to be a little... There's a lot less in the Talbot this year. Is there? I only saw... I, mean, yeah. I only saw Jacinta's on the main floor. Yeah. In the corner yeah. of the big room. Yeah. yeah. I've seen her work before. And yeah. then there was uh, another man on the second floor and a lady fit setting up on the service. There's only two on the second floor that I see. Maybe, maybe, maybe there's maybe more coming. Maybe, maybe, yeah, exactly. Because that's... Because I remember in the past, like three, four years that's ago... Right. yeah. You would have... 10 or so you couldn't get on in. the second floor. You couldn't get in? Yeah. I remember, well, before um, I had an accident before that, yeah. um, trying to get a space yeah. in the Talbot to show. Yeah. No. no so, you but these, the price. Send your firstborn child. <laughs> yeah, the, the prices seem more <laughs> well, they're realistic and yeah, not attainable. Like, yeah. Like, I mean, the, particularly the, like the prints, yeah. particularly Mary's prints, which really, I mean, all prints are done in um, archival quality paper. Yeah. And so like you can see those in hotels. 100%. You know, in rooms and stuff. about this uh, wish for Mary. Is that an interior designer is going to come in and say, listen, I have got a big commission. Yeah, no, I've got a, big, got a big commission for a hotel, you know. Oh, no, it's definitely, you can see. I could. The, like, it's pleasant. And it, it, and it can also blend in with the interior very easy. But a bit of impact. Yeah. And something different. Yeah. 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 And it wouldn't. So if you know any interior, armory. you know. <laughs> well, maybe maybe someone will see you there and they know to come here or get in contact with you. Yeah. Um, well, is he any do idea? you have a business card oh, to yeah, it? Sure. I could, yeah, I yeah. could put the, I'll yeah. link it in the description yeah, of course, there. Yeah, of course. And I get to, yeah, the, the yep. website is dead on that one. Okay. There's Mary's. Yeah, so I. There you go. Very yeah. good. Okay. Great. What's your name? Uh, Mick. Mick, and I'm I'll Trish. I'll give you one of mine there. Thank you very much. And then it's so all. I'll blog it. I'm doing, uh, I did the yesterday, the fireworks. Oh, yeah. Today yeah. I'm going to do just the town a bit, yeah, yeah. just the Lovely. ambiance, and then I'll post Lovely. that up probably Monday or something. Fantastic. All right. Thank you. Yeah. Yes, I will. That's what you guys say to me. Okay. Subscribe. <laughs> Subscribe. Thanks very much. Nice to meet you. Good luck on it.
so that was very nice that was a good time we walk in the shop and she was very pleasant she explained uh what's going on and the prices were reasonable they're like two to three hundred whereas the talbot you were seeing them they're all about a thousand or so so two different price ranges is it so but very interesting i'll have all the links below on the two artists there thanks well patricia had a good point i need to get myself a badge little pin for my hat i am missing the wexford one so if we keep an eye out and maybe if i find it i'll add it to the collection This, this is some of the things that you could see when you walk around in Wexford on a Saturday during the Opera Festival. You have buskers singing. Um, he himself is there quite often on the weekends. A very good voice, good, good traditional music he plays. Here's a little market in the has some little stalls that people pay and you get coffees and some trinkets yeah. then some postcards photos of Wexford and then some knickknacks antiques books and bits it's called some nice ceramics here too and they have books here as well I wonder if they have travel books I'm looking for those No, don't see any. A lot of Irish ones here. There's some below. You can have a little dawdle around looking all the little knickknacks they have and antiques. They have scarves. Oh, look at this. These are cute. <laughs> Thank you very much. They're very nice. Wonder if I should get that for little Mikey. <laughs> And that for the dog. I'm sorry, is he, is he in there? Yeah, he's in there. Leave him. It's okay. Well, he usually goes to the snuggies and have a look. He has to go to the upper. Oh, okay. Right. Let's go. Man's waiting for you outside the door. Definitely. Very oh, yeah, yeah. Thank See you. you then. Have fun at your opera. Oh, no, he won't. He is first as that. Well, very nice. Thank, thank sorry. you. Sorry. No, no, you're grand. And there's. See, there's all sorts of little stuff you can get here on the bow ring. If you want to watch the explanation of the bow ring, look into the, uh, my uh, Wexford Town vlog, which I explained the history behind the bow ring. So, now we'll just walk up to the main street again, and there should be an exhibition opened up in one of the, one of the uh, shops fronts. And then uh, we'll take a look at that and then walk up towards uh, White's Hotel and see what they have there. Here, what's, here's Wexford Volunteer Center. They have a little bit of decoration in the window. Some sheet music, violins. I don't know what that is. Is it a cello? I don't know. It's starting to rain a little bit. Not too bad though. Here's an art gallery open. Let's see if we can get in there. Hello. Hello. You mind if I vlog? I'm, oh, just, showing, yeah, I'm just showing you off. Uh, you filming? Yeah, filming. It's yeah. for YouTube. I do uh, oh. showing around the Opera Festival in Wexford. Yeah. So I went to the show at the opening last night and yeah. seen the exhibits there. So. Oh, great. Go ahead. Thank you.
So I'm just walking around showing you the different pictures that are half an offer. I had to turn the volume down at this point because they had uh, music playing in the background. Uh, not that I don't like ABBA on that, but for copyright uh, strikes or claims, I uh, had to lower the volume. So I'm just walking around looking at these uh, different types of paintings and prints and showing you what you have to offer in Wexford during the Opera Festival. And just stay watching. And just for whites, we went up to whites, but they weren't available yet. It was only starting on Sunday. So don't forget, you can always go see whites and what they have to offer during the Opera Festival. Uh, they're GoPros. They're handy. They're waterproof. Uh, and they're, they're one of the best things that you can do for vlogging. And it holds a lot of film. And, yeah. 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 They're very good. And the sound is really good. And yeah. Yeah. So. All right. Thank you very much. Okay. You're welcome. Okay, so that's another little exhibit that's on uh, that you can get to on the main street that just pops out. Here at night, this is the uh, the bar district, so there's lots of pubs, a couple of restaurants, and that. And it's really, really packed up at night. So when you're in Wexford, it's it's called Monk Street. Um, little funny fact: when I first came to Ireland, that was my first uh, flat that I got. It was 15 Monk Street, flat one. So, very noisy, not the best, but at the time, you know, I was sort of stuck because when you come to the, come to Ireland, you have to get a PPSN number, which is like your, your, your number that recognizes you for the state and that, but in order to get a PPSN number, you have to have an address. So most address uh, places to get a rental accommodation, they require a PPSN number. So I had this, I was stuck. So I had to take that place for a bit, and I was in there for four months. And uh, it was all right. Uh, I we found a job that was on the other street at a taxi rank called Wexford Cabs, and I was there for seven years. Because when I came to Ireland, the economy basically shut down three weeks later, and the whole economy shut down. So I had to get whatever I could find, and it suited me. and and. That was my place for seven years until the ice rink opened up. I did that for a little bit. Did that for about six weeks, which allowed me to go on to the dole afterwards. For And then I went on to a course for a year. I got a, a, a lower degree in business admin with my APA and insurance. And then I got me into the door for Zurich Insurance and I've been there for six years now. So everything works out in the end. Okay, so I'm inside the White's Hotel. I'm trying to see if there's any exhibits. Now they have artwork displayed on the wall. There's the Commodore Barry. That's on the key front. Let's see if there's anything around. Is there any art exhibits open uh, today? Not today, uh, tomorrow. Tomorrow? So tomorrow, yeah. Okay, thank you. Sorry. Okay, so there you have it. Have to come back tomorrow to get to, uh, to get the whites. So, there's no exhibitions opening today yet, so in whites. Uh, here's another little interesting fact about my arrival into Wexford. Right across us is the Abbey House B&B. So when I first arrived in Wexford, um, I needed a place to stay until I found the lodging. So I'd stayed there for two nights until I found a, uh, my flat on Monk Street. It was a nice little B&B local and it was not too bad. Um, you know, you wouldn't be able to stay in it nowadays, like the prices have shot up. It's a little bit more expensive in Wexford, but make sure you shop around and look at booking.com and stuff like that. And prayer. Plus, there's also Airbnbs now that are available to you. So, 
Here's another window display. Creative Hub. I wonder what this is. Here's Johnstown Castle. I did that vlog, so make sure you check my uh, channel. And you'll see some of my work. I have about 25, 20, 25 uh, videos or vlogs up so far. So make sure you don't forget to uh, subscribe to my channel. Like it. Let's take a look around here. Hey, okay, workshop. Hello. Yeah, I'm just vlogging. Is that okay? That's okay. I'm just showing around the arts exhibits. Yeah, of course. Very nice. I know. All right. So far, just starting. Today, just starting. So. Yeah, yeah. So I'm getting to meet people coming in. Uh, a couple yesterday too, um, which is nice. Yeah. Very good. Do you have your business card? I, I can do. put it up on the vlog and that. So. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Here that's you go. me, and um, my partner doesn't have a card, so it's furniture and. Um, oh, okay. As wow, well. I didn't even notice that. It's yeah, blended they into they it. Blend in. yeah, They're really so nice. They're white. Pieces here. So we've got walnut, uh, walnut ash and cherry um, wow. as well so um very good yeah so he's the reason i came to Oxford. where are you from um i'm from cork i lived in the states as a kid okay. so don't don't really have a cork accent <laughs> <laughs> and um i've been here about six years and um yeah i moved in here in april so oh. it's been really nice to have a space to create work and a big space at that yeah um, and display it too and yeah, yeah, exactly. So I could stand back and see the work because I was working in my home studio and it was very small and it was really hard to... Hard to focus and get back and... Oh, yeah. Focus, yeah, you said it now. <laughs> yeah, and I also taught from that space so it was there was a lot of admin, there was a lot of teaching materials so to try and, you know, do my own work after all that, it was just yeah. a headache, so... Well, best um, of luck to you. Thank and, you so uh, much. Well, here's my card there for my YouTube channel. Fantastic. So I'll be on it probably Monday or Sunday. I'll, Depends on how much I did yesterday, last night, the opening of the Opera Festival, and I'm walking around the town today. Oh, yeah. So. And do you have the booklet, the Arts Trail booklet? Um, no. This is, uh, so they're floating around. That's okay. the one. You grab that one there. Nobody looks like they're taking it. That one there, yeah. Yeah, and so if you have a look at it, it's all spread out, and it shows all the different galleries. And, oh, perfect. Um, so it looks kind of like this, and it has a little info on all of us. Okay. So that's the info side. And this is your gallery. Oh, right? wow. Yeah. So there's a fab, a fabulous one happening down near TK Maxx. Okay. They've, um, they've renovated a space and turned it into a big gallery. And oh, it's gorgeous. Um, and then you have upstairs in the opera house, there's another one. Um, but it's all listed here, so easily okay. to find. Okay. Um, yeah. I'll, I'll sneak that one sneak out. Sneak that then. one. Yeah. They're floating around everywhere. Yeah. But that one's a easy one. Okay. <laughs> Thank you very much. Good luck. Hello, how are you? Good. Hello? Um, I'm not really open yet. You're not you open? Have a look around. I'm just doing a vlog and going around and seeing there, so. You're alright, you're good. Just, yeah. When do you expect to be open? Uh, I think it's on at 5. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you're getting your prices and all that. And uh, yeah, I'm going to have to write them all up and bring <laughs> two more pieces and. Oh, it's really? been a lot, you know, but getting it done, you know. Well, it's busy because it's the time of year where you have the yeah. audience and that. So. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah. Well, best of luck. Uh, thank you. Take care. Okay, here's one here. It's the House of the Makers. Meet the Makers. 16. So there's 16 different artists all in here. They 
have all different exhibitors all into one store, I think. Made local. There's the Hook Lighthouse. I'm going to be doing that and I'm trying to get there to blog. It's on my list, along with Kirk Cole. Here's all ceramic. Marine Stafford. Very nice ceramics. Those are interesting little figures. Needle felting technique. There's lots of different displays. Jewelry, even. Well, not that dear either. Blacksmith work. These are nice candles. as you see around so far in the exhibits. Some more jewelry. That's reasonable, like 40 euros, 35. Those are nice. Candlesticks. And then pottery. A lot of pottery is popular. These are really nice. Oh wow. And there's flowers growing in it. Very interesting. in it woodworking. Here's your nice little bowl of eh? Ash bowl. 40 euros. Nice. Oh, that's nice. I like the way that they've embroidered leather straps with the crack in the wood. Now you can see the hustle and bustle of the town starting to pick up. This is after midday. It's uh, quarter past 12. People walking, going about their business of the shoppings and also the opera festival. You know, gathering bits and bobs now at nighttime. Everyone goes to dinners. They have, and then you have tuxedo events to go to the operas. And then you have the fringe events, which have different, different things for... And once the Spiegel tent gets going, they'll be coming up in the... In a few days and they'll have events during the day on the weekends and at night and uh, every night during the week there's some show or two and they also cater to some kids there's some young events and and pantos and stuff so they have a little bit of everything for everyone so you can see it's getting really busy compared to what it was earlier when they're walking through the town and this is 
normal on a Saturday, but it would have been busy. Okay, and we'll just make our way down. Okay, this is the uh, side view of the Opera House, the National Opera House. Now it's nestled in in the high street, so it's hard to really see. You can see it on the bridge when you're coming over, it sticks out, it's a big uh, metal type rectangular that jumps out in the skyline, so you can see it from there. And there's basically these old Georgian houses and that that have all been renovated to be the front of it. So if you're walking by, it doesn't really jump out at you until you get to the doorway and then you know it's you're in the the opera house. And inside it's a really nice, really nice setup. I've been in a few shows there and uh, had a graduation there as well. So Here's the indoor, and here's all the different shows that it's going to have. Let's see. And these are for queuing up for tickets. Is there, hi, is there an art exhibition going on here? Well, there's so someone's a general exhibition up there that that's kind of permanent. Yeah. So you can, if you want to go up the stairs, there's some stuff on the walls. Up there, okay. okay. Thank you. So there you have it. Yeah. Go up the stairs. So, Dr. T. J. Walsh, the founder of the Wexford Festival. Opera. Started going into the the actual the opera house itself. They're big on penguin books. There's, there's a restaurant. It's available.
has a restaurant that overlooks the key. See you there. Thanks to you. There's the Wexford Harbor and then Wexford Bridge.